since I first got involved, I guess I've been, you know, paddling and hiking on the Potomac for, for years now. Um, but also interested in uh, actual sediment control issues, and the river keepers have been really cutting edge in terms of standing up and, and representing for that issue. So when I started seeing problems first, I think with, no, oh, okay. I worked first with the Sierra Club on the ICC project, and then in Virginia when the, the 495 HOT came up as an issue, uh, I reached out to a lot of groups, and the, the river keepers were the ones who said, you know, you're doing good work here, we want to work with you, we want to bring in resources and support. And uh, they really changed changed the game from, from a few people complaining about, about problems with the uh, sediment control to actually getting stuff done and putting effective pressure on the, the people who were causing the problems. I think it's always most important to, to work on things at the local layer. It's easy to get upset about what's happening at the global scale, but if you want to create effective change, um, you work in your, in your backyard, in your local watershed, in your neighborhood. And so this, uh, Akatin Creek, I, I take this as, as my backyard, and it's much easier actually, even though it's, it's been very challenging, to raise the issues here locally, rather than trying to affect change on, on say, a global level. Thank you, Chris. One and only Chris Unger here at Akatin Creek.